Hey guys, this is Sean from Shanta.com and in this video we are going to compare the benchmarking test scores of HTC 10 and HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo smartphones. HTC 10 comes with Snapdragon 820 processor, 4 GB of RAM, Adreno 530 GPU and Android 6 OS while HTC Bolt comes with Snapdragon 810 processor, Adreno 430 GPU, 3 GB of RAM and Android 7 OS. So in terms of hardware specs, HTC 10 is better than HTC Bolt. But let's have a look on the benchmarking scores and let's get the idea that which device will be better. So here we go. The benchmarking applications that we got here today are Entry Benchmarking, Basemark OS 2, Geekbench 3, Basemark X and Quadrant Standard. We have performed all these tests to save you time and we will be having a look on the scores directly just to compare and to save you time. So let's start with the Entry Benchmarking first of all. So here you can have a look on the scores for HTC 10 it's 130,327 and for our HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo it is 80,927 so it's 81,000. So we can see that the performance of HTC 10 is much better than the HTC Bolt and the reason behind this is the better hardware specs of HTC 10. And uh, now let's go back, let's go to Basemark OS 2. Let's have a look on the results. And you can see the result here right here in front of you. For HTC 10 overall it's 1947 and for HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo it's 1772. So the difference is not so huge. But still the winner is HTC 10 and uh, if you have a look on individual test scores you can see that there is not much difference between system memory and web browsing but when it comes to graphics it's huge uh, because of the better hardware the graphics GPU used in HTC 10 that's Adreno 530 and here it's Adreno 430 in HTC Bolt. So even though the difference is not much in terms of scores, the winner is HTC 10. And let's go to Basemark X now. It is a gaming benchmarking test. So let's have a look on the results. Here are the scores. You can see that in this test, the winner is HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo even though it is having inferior GPU than HTC 10 and you can give the credit to the latest version of Android OS that is contributing in this score in performing much better uh, when it comes to gaming. So in this test the winner is HTC Bolt or HTC 10 Evo. Now let's have a look on the next test and that's going to be Quadrant Standard. After that we will do Geekbench 3. These two tests we will do right here in front of you. So let's just start with the quadrant standard first. So the tests are finished and here we are having the scores. For HTC Bolt it's 26,253 and for 
HTC 10 it's 47,268 so this is a very very huge difference between these two devices you can see that the winner is clearly HTC 10 and with a huge margin so in this test the winner is HTC 10 and once again we can say that it's all because of the better hardware specs and now let's do the next test and that's going to be Geekbench 3 Once the test is finished we will have a look on the scores and we will see that which device is going to score more with respect to each other. So for single core of HTC 10 it's 2254 and multi core is 4838 and the test is still going on on our HTC Bolt or HTC 10 EVO and here we go so for the single core the score is 900 65 and for multi core it's 3918 so for multi core the difference is not so huge but as you can see here that for single core the performance of HTC 10 is much better than HTC Bolt and it scored more than twice of HTC Bolt or HTC 10 EVO so we can see that in all of these tests the winner is HTC 10 with respect to HTC Bolt or HTC 10 EVO only in one test base mark X the winner is HTC Bolt so we can assume that because of the better hardware specs the performance of HTC 10 will be better as well and you can watch our detailed gaming review of these two devices to get the better idea that how they are performing in real life uh, scenario not just in the benchmarking test and scores so thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and handsome videos like this. Have a nice day.